Hi, welcome to Digitizer. Today we are going to learn how to make a float plan quickly and easily within 20 minutes. So we are going to learn more tricks and tips. So we'll start. I have a reference plan here and I'm going to start from here. This is the starting point and two points you have to note before you start drawing this float plan. Uh, you have to keep this ortho on and you have to type un and check whether the type is architecture. So click on OK. And we're going to start. Type L, hit enter. So this is around 13 feet. Click here. Mention 13 feet, hit enter. We're going down. So this is around 13 feet, 6 inches. I'm drawing the inner wall. So those are 6 inches or 4.5 inches here I am drawing it as 6 inches and 13 feet 6 inches again come left 13 feet and there's a gap between the doors here here you can see that's a 6 inches going out the outer wall should be 9 inches I'm going to uh, keep this line as 3 feet, that's for the door, 3 feet, come this side again, it's 9 inches and uh, this is 2 feet, then 3 feet for the window, you can see here, then it's 2 feet, coming this side, 7 feet. When I'm drawing the dining room kitchen room here, you can see here, this one, 4 feet, the walls are 6 inches again, coming down, this is 7 feet 1 inch, here I am, so 7 feet 1 inch, come this side, 6 inches, wall, come up 2 feet 7 inches and you can snap and check whether you are drawing the lines correctly here so that's the reason we keep the orthogonal on at the below so that you can check whether you are drawing the lines perfectly it was 7 feet coming down here you can see 3 feet and the window this is 7 feet again and this is a I need to draw this space for the door that will be 6 inches so I'm drawing as 6 inches this side is 6 inches and this one 6 inches plus 6 inches it's 12 inches 12 inches is nothing but 1 feet. So I'm going to type 1 feet. Come again here. So this would be including this space and this space. It will be 7 feet 6 inches. So I'm typing 7 feet 6 inches. Come down. This is around 6 feet 11 inches. And there is a window here. You can see that's 3 feet and the space after that it's 2 feet right 13 feet inside it's 6 inches here I am you can see and this is 6 inches I'm stopping here by hitting escape now this door I need a space here so I'm making an offset of 3 feet so type O, hit enter and mention the distance, it's 3 feet, hit enter, select this object, automatically a 3 feet line will be drawn. So we'll start from here, hit escape, type L, hit enter. Uh, for the modified tools like offset, fillet and other tools, you can visit our previous videos, you can learn the basics from our previous videos which are modified tools and drawing tools. So here I am drawing 5 feet. 
this is around 6 inches coming down so in this way you can continuously draw lines you don't have to uh, come out of the line tool to make a floor plan this is the easiest way and you can draw it very quickly 13 feet so going this side 13 feet so just you have to type the measurements and hit enter automatically line would be drawn 6 inches and here is the window I am going to draw it's around 3 feet and I am coming this side inside it's 13 feet again and you can see I have drawn it perfect so I am snapping it checking it so this is a 6 inches gap this is also 6 inches so you can see here 6 inches plus this gap 6 inches plus 6 inches so 6 plus 6 is 12 inches plus 6 inches so it's 1 feet 6 inches so here it's again 6 inches coming down 6 inches again here we have 13 feet I'm drawing this window so it's three feet and I'm joining the line so a floor plan is made now we have to draw the outer walls so that's around nine inches walls so I'm going to type O type the distance is nine inches select and you can offset of nine inches see it's so simple here 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 you can see this one which is shaded we will give the shaded little later with the help of hatches okay now we have to join or fill the gaps so hit escape type F hit enter and just select this one and this one just type space bar and you will get the previous command again so I'm hitting space bar and I get the fillet command again so I need to fill the other gaps and this one you know I have to draw a line here to fill the gap okay and this one you know this is six inches plus this is 9 inches so it will be totally 1 feet 3 inches I'm drawing a line here of 1 feet 3 inches and I'm joining this line so now we'll make the doors here first we'll make this master bedroom door and for that we need to create the frame of the door right so type L hit enter and we draw a line of 2.5 inches and this side is 2 inches and top it's 0 0.5 inches the side it's 2 inches the side it's again 2 inches hit escape so the frame is done now we have to mirror it absolutely here at this end so we'll draw a line for that type L hit enter and from this midpoint till this midpoint hit escape now type MI hit enter select the object now this is also selected so press shift to deselect hit enter click on this midpoint and drag it this side you see a dash line just click and hit enter so absolutely it will be mirrored this side now we need to draw a rectangle so that uh, you can see this door here which is a rectangle okay 
and we need to rotate it this side and represent the arc as it is opening this side. So type RO, hit enter, select the object, hit enter. So now we'll draw the arc here, type A, hit enter and this first point and press C for the center point. This is the center point and this is the end point. So a door is done. We are going to change this door into a block so that we can mirror and copy this door and place it in different places. So now type B, hit enter and mention a name here like DR. Pick a point. Always click on the end points that will be easy for you to place the object. Select the objects. Hit enter. You can see the preview of the object in the black color box here. And uh, you need to check these two options. If not, in the future you cannot scale the block or explode it. So click on OK. Redefine. The block is made. Click and you can see this is a base point. Now we need to mirror it this side and this side. So type MI already the object is selected. Select this point and drag it this side. Hit enter so automatically it's placed this side. Now for the door of the toilet select the door hit enter pick a random center point and drag upwards hit enter do not worry if it comes here type M select the object hit enter click this space point and place it here so it's placed absolutely now we need the door for the living room and the uh, dining room kitchen room so that's the entrance door for the living room we're going to copy this door and keep it there so type co hit enter select the object select this as a base point and click it here so we're done now we copy this door to the dining room kitchen room hall so type co again select the object hit enter and click this as a base point for the starting point and place it here so it's done so the frame you draw it should be always from the outer wall place the windows here opens from that here, right here i have a line of three feet I'm going to draw a line there in middle. Hit enter. Now, I'm going to offset this line by 3 feet. Okay, it's done. I'll draw a line inside. The inner will offset by 1 inch. That's done. So the window is done. Now we are going to create it as block and place it everywhere, wherever we need the windows to be. So type B again and uh, WI, name it, pick the point, always pick the point at the last. Select the objects, hit enter again. Just click on OK. These two should be checked because if you want to explode uh, this one in future or if you want to scale it, you can scale that. If you uncheck it, you cannot scale or explode this block. So always check these two. Click OK. Oh, this is a block. So type I, hit enter. And you can place the block here. 
need okay this part is done now we have to come down type i again for insert it's done so we have placed the doors on the left side now let's turn for the right side type i again hit enter hit spacebar the same command and we have placed the windows the windows and doors are done so next is the hatch uh, to know more about the hatch tool you can check our modified tools video so you can know more about the hatch command so you can click here for the hatch also and always click on pick points and I'm going to click here and here this one okay it's done it has escape select the hatch you can decrease the or increase the size it is 14 I'm going to change the color here I have not placed any color so you can place the dimensions click here this is 20 feet so uh, you can check for the dimensions the dimension styles in the our previous video which is text and dimensions so I've named the text here as you can see uh, master bedroom bedroom living room toilet and dining come kitchen room so in the next video what we're going to do is like we're going to play, replace this text by furniture. So uh, we will teach you how to draw and place the furnitures in each room. So this was the easiest method of drawing a floor plan. To learn more in detail or to check our previous videos, please register to our website which is www.digitizer.in and please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.